Do you still remember what we have learned in math? Yes, very good. We learned about this. How do we read that? Okay, it's called fraction. And in fraction, we learn about one half. Yes, one half. So, is this one half? No, because this one is a whole. But, if I divide it equally into two parts, each part will be called one half. Just like this. So let's say this is the circle I had earlier. So if I divide it equally into two equal parts, one part is called one half or half, and the other part is called one half or half as well. So if you put two halves together, you have one whole. Remember, you write it one half, just like this, or you could write it one half just like that. Don't forget that, children. So that's all about fraction one half. How about this one, children? Is it one whole? Yes, it's one whole because we haven't divided it yet. But if I get my scissors and I try to cut it this way, Did I divide it equally into two parts? No, because one part is too small while the other part is too big. So we cannot say that this is half and this is half because they are not equally divided into two. How about if I divide it like this? Did I divide it equally into two parts? Yes, which means we could say this is half and this is also half. One half, one half. So if I put it together, it makes a whole. Don't forget, remember, you should always divide a whole equally into two parts so that you will get half and half. And that's it for math. Thank you for watching. See you again next time. Bye!